Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Vicki here coming to you from West Texas. Hi, y'all. A um, lot of things are going on. I'm quite certain every one of you are on top of it. Amen. Okay, this is kind of where I'm going to start mine. Um, I came to Texas to visit my daughter and my grandsons. They're very small. Um, I got to Texas last Monday evening early. So I was in East Texas uh, until yesterday morning and I really felt the urge, okay, I got to get to my dad's. Well, I jumped in the car and I drove about three hours to get to West Texas um, and surprised my dad. And while I was surprising him, he took off his um, house slipper to show me how swollen his right ankle, foot, and big toe is. Um, remember um, last year, uh, I think it was in May, June, July, somewhere in there, um, my dad was um, uh, diagnosed with peripheral artery disease in both legs. So they went in, you know, and it's very risky at his age. He was 86 at the time. Now he's 87. And uh, there's a problem with the right leg, and that's where they put the stent in. Um, we don't know as of yet if um, he has blood clots in his legs uh, or in the leg or if it's an infection, but it, it, it looks really bad, y'all, and I desperately need your prayers. Henry, he remembered my dad, amen. Um, so Thursday, um, he will be having surgery again, um, and God bless each and every one of you and all of our um, new brothers and sisters that have started um, on this page, on this walk with us as we wait for the Lord Jesus Christ's return. Amen. So, um, Thursday, it's supposed to be, we get there at 10 a.m. and they prep him and it's supposed to be at noon. So, um, we'll see how that all goes because they're never on time. Amen. But what I want is to um, come on and talk about today, um, January the 27th, 2020. Um, Monday uh, afternoon. It's approximately 3 o'clock in the afternoon Central Standard Time here in the United States. Okay, last Friday, if you were not aware, and I'm going to try to uh, copy a link to this. I had to end up finding it. It was weird because it wasn't on Vice President Pence's well, I think it, it, it may have been. This is where I ended up finding it, but it wasn't through him. It was through um, another department of state um, through the U.S. that actually posted it. But last Friday, after leaving Israel, uh, Vice President Mike Pence and the second lady, his wife, um, were in Israel, and then they went um, to Rome, where they met with um, false prophet Pope Francis. Yes, I covered my mouth. <laughs> uh, so there's that. But um, anyway, um, so I'm sure they have plenty to talk about since... Uh, it has come out today that uh, President Trump will be revealing his long-awaited deal of the century uh, peace plan between the fake Stinians and Israel. Um, now, we have been waiting on this for two and a half, going on three years to be revealed. Amen? Um, Per Bible prophecy, as I see it, we won't be here for the signing of. Um, I heard that Benny Gantz is on board with this um, 
the potential next Prime Minister of Israel as he and Bibi Netanyahu fight it out, um, which their elections will be in March sometime. I can't remember the date, second or third maybe. Um, don't quote me on that, okay? Um, but Benjamin Netanyahu is supposed to be here. I don't. I thought he was supposed to be here on Wednesday, um, but that doesn't make any sense. Why would he be here on Wednesday? Um, so maybe he's going to be here in the U.S. tomorrow. So we'll just have to wait and see how this is all going to play out. Amen. Either we're going home or it's going to be pushed back because of some other nonsense like, oh, a... Air Force Bombardier, uh, uh, I believe it's an E-11 plane, just happened to crash in Afghanistan this morning, and uh, it's believed to be that there were five CIA operatives on this plane. Now, uh, there have been many reports that the Taliban uh, is claiming responsibility, and then there have been reports stating that it was just an accident. Well, I'm not believing in any jets crashing as being accidents anymore. Amen? Um, and while L.A. is in their vast mourning over Kobe Bryant dying, one of the greatest uh professional uh, basketball players, um, I'm sure they'll enthrone him in bronze or gold or something and put him in the middle of the city. Um, and don't get me wrong, y'all. You know, I really feel for his wife, Vanessa. You know, she just lost her husband and her daughter, you know, in a helicopter crash. But, I mean, the fans, I saw... Uh, the news people, you know, talking to fans, and they were crying and mourning and just acting like pure idiots, like they knew him personally. Um, they don't know him personally. They couldn't get near him, you know, for nothing. Um, but anyway, you know, prayers for Vanessa, really, seriously. But anyway, um this deal of the century, okay, um, we'll just have to see if it plays out tomorrow. Uh, it's supposed to be unveiled at 7 p.m. Israel time, okay, uh, January 28th, 2020. Um, so, that would be 11 a.m. Central Standard Time for myself here in the United States. So, it just, you know, wherever you live in the world, um, you know, get ready for it. Because that's when it's supposed to happen. Um, I'm sure there's a lot going on. But like I said, you know, I'm sure your family is just off the shelf kind of like mine is. My family's all over the place. There's all kinds of things going on right now. And it truly is um, miraculous that I'm here. And my dad was trying to keep it a secret from me about his surgery on Thursday, even though this is very risky surgery for him. Don't know how it's going to turn out. And, you know, I just, I'm, I'm trying to stay strong. Um... I'm just, I'm just weak. I'm tired. You know, I, I haven't been in good health for many years. Um, I've lost a lot of weight. Um, but I'm still trusting in Jesus Christ. Amen. And I know you are too. Um, it's just, it's just miraculous, y'all, knowing that we are living in the end of the age and so many are asleep and have no clue what time it is. Um, I just, I find that so hard to believe. And if you've never called upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, ask him to come into your heart, be your personal Lord and Savior, repent of your sins, you know, tell him you're sorry, ask him to forgive you. He is just and faithful to do so. Please call upon the only name given by heaven by which man must be saved. 
His name is Jesus. He is the Christ. He is the Mashiach. He is the Messiah. Please call on him today. He died on the cross almost 2,000 years ago to save us all from our sin. He took our sin upon himself and he became a living sacrifice, the only sacrifice that will ever be acceptable unto Father Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel, the creator of heaven and earth and everything in them. I love you guys. Um, I'll let you know. You know how it is. Dad doesn't have Wi-Fi, so I have to come uptown and uh, get in somebody's parking lot. So um, today we are at the Well of Life Church building. It's connected to a strip mall, and they have a huge sign underneath that's in bright yellow that says that they offer crazy bean espresso. Well, I don't know what a crazy bean is, but I'm pretty sure that the Well of Life Church probably is a Laodicean church as well. Uh, sleepy. Sleepy Church doesn't know what time it is because they're more concerned about crazy bean espresso being served at their services than about the Lord Jesus Christ fixing to snatch away his bride. Amen. I love you guys. I'm going to try to get this uploaded for you and stand strong in the faith, praying for us all, you know, whatever, whatever may come. Just trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. He's never failed us and he never will. Maranatha.